This is the ultimate food build, and in this video I'll be showing you how to accomplish the true power of food to be able to stop anything in your path, no matter what difficulty you play on. I'll be trying to build a McDonald's in everyone's empire while growing a vassal network and stopping a Grand Admiral devouring swarm from, well, devouring our McMuffins. Here is the empire that we'll be walking through as we play, so I'll go into detail while we're picking things later on. The setting, my standard, and we're jumping straight into it. And here we are, the Muck Empire. You know where this is going. <laughs> now, from the start, what we're instantly going to do, because we have so many consumer goods, is come over to species and set our minimum wage workers to academic privilege. They're going to be very smart minimum wage workers. We can do this because we're materialist, and we just get 10% more science and more happiness. It's going to cost us some more consumer goods, but that's fine. We're going to survey the biggest world, size 18, and we're going to use one ship from our military here to go and explore so we can see what else is out there. We're going to grab any tech that we can, but we'll get hydroponic farms. <laughs> we can grow McDonald's in space. Why would we not want to do that? And we'll grab some better shields. Now, this build is Megacorp, but we, of course, have some food-related civics. We have catalytic recyclers, which replaces Meturgulus with catalytic technicians. They turn food into alloys. While we're reading, I realize we're minus minerals. We are going to want to buy the maximum amount of minerals per month because we don't want to waste lots on minerals. Now, food is what we need. The rare resource producing buildings also get replaced with food upkeep rather than minerals. This is very strong. So we don't need minerals except for to build things. And we could just get that by buying it. Very nice. We also have trawling operations, which is anglers. On ocean worlds, agricultural districts are uncapped. When we start with ocean world, on wet worlds, farmers replace with anglers and pearl divers. Anglers produce food, trade value, and pearl divers produce consumer goods and trade value. And we get the aquatic trait, which gives us more habitability on oceans, less housing usage, and food energy mineral output is up by 10%. However, if we're not on a wet world, we get negative habitability and more housing usage, and the hydrocentric ascension pick amplifies the trait's effect. So you can see all of these things are food synergy, as well as compensating for our energy with trade and with megacorp and we're gonna build a mcdonald's everywhere we can because this galaxy needs some mcburgers don't sue me please we're gonna greet xenos with open arms because first contact speeds increase and we get influence from first contacts win 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 and i'm an idiot and forgot to build a colony ship straight away you should do that we're gonna use our excess money to just buy monthly everything we need we can even sell monthly consumer goods now the biggest issue is minerals which is annoying but it's fine now where we can we're just going to spam research early game because research is key until they nurse it in the next update and i didn't manage to catch our leader dying oops starlight's dead sorry the first tradition is going to be mercantile we want to be able to switch over into the unity for trade because why would we build unity when we don't really need to now big shout out to sansus in my discord we've got a solaris build red channel so go over and submit builds but they submitted this one and it looks really fun if you have builds that sound fun or are quite strong or just very meme go over to the discord and post them i may play them or other people might we also host games and everything solaris related is over there you may as well go. Go now. Now, it's a big shame we lost one of our ships and leaders. As soon as we get adaptive economic policies, we can now actually think get about getting more leaders because we can now switch over our trade policies and policies and edicts to marketplace of ideas, which will give us half energy, but unity. Now, energy is fine. We can just stop buying things if we need or sell more consumer goods because why not? But now we can think about getting some more leaders. One with a council tree is always very good. They're tier two two spark of genius yes and we'll just set them to explore we need to find people because we're megacorp as well remember this build has a lot going for it as long as we don't get an awful spawn we can get another military leader and then put them on another military ship and go and explore with that if you didn't get them killed straight away you would maybe find someone before me but this build is so versatile trade value from anglers and pearl divers is great maybe we do want to expand the position yeah let's expand the position straight away council i mean council in terms of ethics fanatic xenophile is a must more envoys more trade value it's so good the second one you can do what you want really with it you can go militarist if you want to be aggressive and then you just focus more on alloys egalitarian for just 
not all specialist output, but I've gone materialist because I love research. You know this. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can go spiritualist too for more unity, but I am a tech rusher. I can't help it in my genes. Now, for some reason, the game hates working pearl divers, so I'm just going to favorite that and also get rid of clicks. Yes, the percentage is nice, but I'd rather just work technicians because I believe it will give us more trade or energy. Did I really just... <laughs> okay, our sign ship didn't die. That's good. Oh, I think we are surrounded by pirates? No. Why do Mega Corps get the worst spawns ever? Every single game you play. Okay, tier two, Spark of Genius again, more research speed. We are just back rushing. That's all I know how to do. Once we have hydroponic base, we're just going to build them. More food means we can just sell more and it will help just in general, really. Okay, we've got an ocean world here. This is actually very nice. This build does not really need more than three planets, but having more is good. And then we're just going to keep expanding with city districts for more research. I'm actually just going to replace buildings first because we have jobs to work and we don't need administrative offices we get that unity from trade now okay the first pirates are found luckily we can just settle next to them as you can see our resources are so good minerals are a bit low but again that's just gonna happen okay with the extra planets <laughs> 16 agricultural districts you're gonna make us food we can slowly shift this planet into alloys and research because we're going to make our capital an eco-monopolist when we can we're just gonna food it up really that's all we have to do also keep an eye for any food leaders we don't have any what? Look at him, he's heading for that small moon. Bakatan Void Riders are everywhere. What? And I can see their name here. <laughs> That's hilarious. Actually, you know what? We will make this biggest one alloys because we have two extra planets and they're quite small. Size doesn't matter unless you're trying to maximize Eco Monopolis worlds. And I'm also stupid and forgot to build more star bases. Do that so you can get Hydro Base. Okay, at this point, I do think we shouldn't even monthly buy minerals and just bulk buy and hope it resets to 1.2 in time i need to build things i can't build things Picatel's done with tech rushing so let's just go tech ascendancy for more research speed you can go anything really we consume a good small at the minute so we'll just make this a factory world for now and we're gonna work on fortify the borders for more star base capacity and build more star bases while building hydro base maximize efficiency yeah we found the other marauders there's only two on this galaxy so if the khan spawns it's gonna spawn by us and we found the courier order very nice because we can communicate with them and get 10% more research speed. We're currently at like 46. This is insane. Paired with our high-ish science, seven years in. We're at 0.75 tech cost as well, just to show the power of this build. And my test of minerals failed. So we're just going to incur some inflation. We're not going to buy max, just so it can hopefully reset back down. We're going to do a prosperity next, just so we can hopefully get cheaper buildings, because we don't have the minerals for it. How have I seen this much and not found anyone yet? I mean, there are our empires here, actually. Like this one. Okay, so mission is do everything you can to be friends we can get a commercial pact as soon as we can which means we can get branch offices which means we can build mcdonald's we must expand capitalism at its core as we got space mcdonald's in our star bases we've got mcfish mcfish burger what the hell is it called i can't remember what the fish one's called but we need some proper burgers you know find those on normal planets hopefully the okay, minerals is reset we're gonna buy the max again i haven't been able to build things wait we can trade oh my gosh we can actually use this functionality i will pay you for minerals please um they value minerals quite high yeah we can get some we can actually build things non-aggression will accept that to build trust give us the commercial pact if you didn't know they changed how diplomatic things happen they've got trust and they kind of nerfed mega corpse this way but we can do the commercial pact now and another empire just improve as soon as you find them and now we can build a branch office when we get enough energy in their capital the other planets don't really matter because they're not going to be built up here I need more minerals damn it they don't have many yeah, we can get a few minerals okay branch office the first Mackie D's on another empire. Uh, well, it's not set up yet anyway. <laughs> I guess we need minerals. <laughs> we could get the fast food chain or we may need to go for minerals first. This might be smarter. More minerals more mcdonald's but invest in yourself oh wait i'm an idiot why am i making consumer goods that's using my minerals <laughs> and food makes consumer goods yeah don't listen to me we make this alloys minerals go up we can now expand the council which means more trade yes 
small trade. Yeah, we can get the mineral up and running too. We're getting there. We're flying through techs. Minerals is just the biggest issue. If we spawn in a nebula, we could have built nebula refineries, which would have been very nice, but we didn't. There is a tomb world. We'll expand to it. Maybe we can eventually terraform it. I don't know. And there's a few plants over here that we could maybe turn into mineral worlds just to get us going or upkeep the empire, but it might be useless. We can use migration treaties to settle on them. We're finding more friends. A fanatic xenophobe pacifist. Oh dear. Well, we'll improve with them. See if we can be friends. <laughs> don't know if we will be able to. Oh, they're willing to trade minerals and they have a lot of them. This is what we needed. What will it take? Okay, we've thrown everything at them. We can't get 5,000 minerals, but this seems like a fair deal. It doesn't, but it will be. We can use the minerals to expand so much faster. Now we can't get the research buff because we just spent all our money. Oh no, a ruthless capital. Do not be another mega call. Damn it. Mm. Okay, the next plan is I did find the artistic enclave. We need to become their Patreon so we can get events for influence because influence will be our bottleneck. Even though we have a lot, it's very worth it as a mega call. So just try and get as much as you can. I'm going to guarantee the fanatic xenophobes independence so it builds trust. Trust me, it's worth it. I hope. Wait, these jobs are taking mineral upkeep too. It might be worth changing your capital to a forge world just so you don't don't have consumer good upkeep. Why am I still producing artisans? Eh, why do these jobs exist? Priorities finished. We're going to grab universal transactions, commercial pack efficiencies buff, less branch office costs, more officers, and commercial packs don't need embassy and they don't cause influence. It's so good. And McEarth just got scum and villainary. Oops. That's really annoying. We'll get that back down to 0% to try and get rid of that as soon as we can. Okay, well, these are almost my friend, but we do have a lot of alloys. We can maybe build up to try and vassalize them. That could be good. We're just going to use our highest strength stuff to get the most fleet power. And a hive, which is useless for us. Another empire that's getting murdered, as you can see by this. Xenophile, spiritualist, who a mega corp. Ah! Oh, we're going supremacy. We got some murdering to do. I mean, muck murdering, much better. Is this a rare paragon? We'll research it though. Oh, it is a legendary paragon. There are scientists that gives food. <laughs> we will enlist you. We get top growth speed, resource from jobs, worker job output, research output, citizen happiness. For two months though. We get the dome ship. They are insane. We're going to make them do the anomalies and stuff. Get a third civic. I think we can do a lot more with more envoys. So that's what we'll do when we have the unity. I always do that. Oh, we're getting refugees. What is going on in this galaxy? We're too weak to survive on our own. You want to be a vassal? Of course. That is insane. And they won a war. And now they want to be a vassal. Okay. You do that. I guess we are top of the community. Now our minerals and stuff are sorted. I was going to just go murder someone, but I remembered we <laughs> guaranteed their independence. A bit hard. These people want a commercial pact. They are mega cool. We can't put holdings in them, but we get the benefits of the deal. So why not? Commercial pact up here. You know what? We're going to work on vassalizing these guys peacefully. Let's accept everything from them for more trust growth. And then we can put our branch offices inside them as well. And we've got enough food now. So let's make the first McDonald's in another empire in the Galactic Zakon Nation. Our food, everything is going very well. We now want to transition our capital into as many alloys as we can. Okay, let's get those envoys. Let's get more trade value. But where we can, we're just going to send gifts. Have some free McDonald's on the house. It's the uh, Monopoly game. You just get some free stuff. Okay, 36 years in. 579 sides. Not the best but not the worst lots of alloys minerals and energy just like we like and we can actually start terraforming but i want to get the holdings up first we can now propose subjugation and become their protectorate which is a bit annoying because we can't take their things i oh, know we can never mind we can take everything <laughs> there we go okay we've got military build up activated we should think about building a big fleet now you issues <laughs> we don't have many good weapons at all like at all look at this oh dear. also now that our minerals are completely fixed because of vassals let's improve these by building commercial forms instead which buff up the trade value which means more money as i say that we have no more minerals oh great there's a devouring swarm shoot wait where did the empire come from i want to make people subjects before i start putting mega corp stuff in them because you can't then kill them it's very annoying the devouring swarm is killing them that's not good the primacy is 
done. We could either go hydrocentric for more benefits to ocean worlds, cheaper terraform costs. I have already done all the terraforming there. Or we could go engineered evolution for genetics. I think we go genetics. We want to use McDonald's to breed more people. We're engaging them. Oh, they instantly left. Okay. I've just spammed big lasers. There's no fault behind this. Just lasers. I'm not paid enough to put more fault behind it. Go genetics now. And from here, we just steamroll. If following along. Oh, they've gone that way. I guess we just race to make them peace out. Where did all my alloys go? What? Oh, it's because of my naval cap. I forgot about that. Remember to build anchorages. We've not really had many military focused techs. We could disrupt us with max minerals. That's a first. Okay, we won. Now we can expand the Mickey D's. McDonald's. Someone wants to be our vassal. Good, good, good. Yes. Someone that we were working building trust with. We are strong. We can now do full disruptors on our cruisers. All funded by food. Speaking of food, we because we have so much. Bone vats. More pops. We love to see it. Okay. Where do we expand next? Food should probably take out a devouring swarm. They're so hungry. Why don't we feed them? That's what we're going to build up for now. Hopefully we can take them out and not just die a horrible death. That would be good. Okay, it's time for our biggest test yet. The devouring swarm. They have 40k. We have the same. That is that is scary, actually. Maybe we make one more fleet just in case. No, the wraith. <laughs> They activated us the mid-game crisis. We'll see if we can take them out. Yeah, we're going in. Disruptors suck against the Wraith. Oh, they died. Oh, that was very easy. <laughs> get more research speed, energy weapon damage, energy credits from jobs, and we get a parade. We now have the Blade of the Huntress. More sublight speed. Very nice. Yeah, I think it's time to take on the big threat here. They want food? They'll get food. Let's end their threat. They're running. <laughs> you fools. Come back. Stop, stop running. Come on. Yes, we caught them. I hope we win this. Yeah, we win that. Oh, we got to split the fleet as well. And we have finished genetics. Let's go hydrocentric now. More buffs to food and everything else. And now we're going to just have to terraform everything into ocean worlds. We don't have climate restoration. Actually, we can't. Wait, this I think helps us get this. We'll do that one. Okay, we're making good work with the devouring swarm. They're pathetic now. We pretty much took out most of their fleets. And now we're just taking every system we possibly can. And funny enough... <laughs> I've got this science ship here with that legendary paragon, but they just have salvager 2, which gives us 20% chance to give ships, military ships. It's gotten 8.7 thousand from that battle a while ago. Madness. <laughs> we're assimilating all the pops as well. I believe this is because we're genetics. We don't have to purge them, which is nice. And the last planet gets bombarded. We truly have fed them and we are feeding them by integrating them into our great empire. Down it goes. And they peaced out, but we dealt with them. So we've taken out that hive we vassaled half the galaxy our economy is very strong it looks like we're not producing much food but we are total producing 1500 we're just consuming a lot we have a lot of new planets that we need to fix and more branch offices to expand i've kind of ignored the economy but we've accomplished our goals we've spread mcdonald's across this galaxy and eliminated any threats there is a threat that might be coming in 30 years the 10 times crisis so if you want to see part two where we try to use food to defeat the crisis like and subscribe this video if you did enjoy this video though you can watch the time i watched 36 empires battle it out on the biggest galaxy against a 25 times crisis. Can they beat it? You'll have to click here to find out.